Okay, we have Mike now. We have Mike. Come over here. Do it. Don't, don't walk. They're not walking front. No. What do you do? Should I do Christopher Walken or <laughs> Old Timey? Do whatever you want. Old Timer. Old Timer. Old Timer. Do it. Old Timer. Alright folks, we're here with Grand Finals, and you see it's a ravagingly good set between this Ike main and this Isabel player who doesn't actually main Isabel, but that's okay. Because sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Shut up, Rolly main. Anyway, <laughs> we're back at it again with uh, Ike hitting them with a bunch of neutral airs and such, you know, as an Ike player do. And the down air through the stage will take game one, and that is game one, going to the Ike player, angry man himself, Steven. No, 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 no. that's why... I Yo, that's why, that's why lots of people hate Lilac so much. Well, let's see if Vito counter picks to a stage that doesn't have shitty ledges. Looks like we're going to Pokemon Stadium too. Still does have shitty ledges, but they're less shitty. That's what matters. Steven looking for the flex. He's going to try to take this entire set without any issues. But Vito's not going to let him do things that easy. I hope, I hope my commentary isn't too distracting. Nope. But I'm going to try to be distracting anyway. All right, you see, this is the way He's things are. The mic. <laughs> We're gonna peek the mic. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. No need to peek the mic. Okay. Uh, so here we see everyone's favorite uh, Isabel player uh, back at it again. Uh, Ike pressuring with neutral airs. Isabel pressuring with neutral airs as well. Ike gets the up out of shield. A classic option. Uh, the the fishing rod clanks. It's not time for that. Yo, the pot is enough to extend the combo, and Ike is so far off stage, but still manages to bring it back because he saved his jump. Did not lose it throughout the entire interaction. Ike with the up B, going to catch Isabel, but Isabel will SD out, out in time. These events are happening quicker than I can describe them, but that's okay. Ike with the jab will put Isabel in a pretty bad spot on stage. Pu pressuring with that forward aerial, pressuring with that neutral air. Isabel regains stage control. Manages to place down the lowered rocket, which explodes right in her face. The neutral air up air will be enough to take this Isabel stock. But things are just going to continue getting crazy. This Isabel's looking for a gimp, looking for a spike. Isabel manages to survive the forward smash, despite her small stature and... Low, low weight. Isabel ends up with one balloon, but still manages to make it back to the ledge. Manages, but the, he texts. Uh, couldn't take that one, though. Uh, Isabel manages to take him out. But this Ike still has a good percentage lead. Things are getting absolutely insane. We have to accept you as an as an Earth Battlefield member. You have to identify as an Earth Battlefield member. You have to come to at least one turn. And then, then that's when you qualify for something. And the, the Ike manages to, using his forward tilt, take the Isabel's next stock. He's got quite a bit of a lead in this game, but Isabel ha does have the capability to bring it back. Ike trying to be as safe as possible. Looking for an up B out of shield, of course. It's a good option. Uh, looking for another up B out of shield. Ike teabagging in the middle of stage, saying, fight me, uh, rocking right into the Lloyd Rocket, which Vito is able to combo off of. Vito looking to cover every ledge option with his rocket, uh, but the suicide will be enough to take game two, and that was absolute bullshit. <laughs> Vito has, in fact, played this matchup 80 times. Some mad smack talk between the players right now. We got some mad snap smack talk back and forth. Uh, I'm going to have to take Vito's side because it's from NB, and he's right. Listen, all right, the amount of times that Vito has been incorrect in his career is negative two. Vito has now switched to Peach. You can tell that this man's mask has has evolved. Peach wearing her black dress, of course, because it is her opponent's funeral, in fact. Uh, Vito, of course, uh, realizing that his full pow power uh, must be unleashed. Of course, this isn't even his full power. Peach is like 50%, let's be real. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, Steven has draw drove him to this point, which is pretty good. Uh, oh. Peach with, oh yes, and then it dawns on Steven as to why Vito chose Peach, because that one counter will make his recovery extremely difficult. Oh, 
And so, Peach, with an incredible combo game, is able to get plenty of percent on this Ike. And Ike has no safe way to recover with the threat of Peach's counter. Fortunately, recovery is for fools, and if Ike can just maintain, maintain stage control, he can still manage to take Peach's stock. However, Peach still at a three-stock situation, putting Ike in a silly place. If Peach gets us a nice low hit and Ike is, Ike is forced to recover low, Peach has the exact counter option for that scenario. But Ike recovering high, trying to keep things as safe as possible. Peach dropping turnips right on his skull. It hurts, dude. Those turnips are dense! Oh, Peach with the parry into the side B and the taunt into the pull turn up ready to cover every ledge option. Hits him with the side B and now this man is down to one stock. Vito is bringing things around compared to the previous games. <laughs> Peach is not brain dead. I'm sorry. Peach requires hands that have been aged in fine wine. Vito talking mad snack mid set. Oh, and... Ike taking a stock finally, but he's at 67%. It's it's not sick, all right? The only sick it is is cancer. Vito with the downwards turn up will be enough, and the counter will finish game three. This is gonna force Steven into a situation where he may have to consider switching. Yeah. He's going Kalos, but will he switch characters? That's the real question. <laughs> we got the Peach, and we're going to have the Sans Undertale counter pick. Everybody. Yo. Yo, for real, uh, can we get a bad time in chat? Just kidding. See, Vito, Vito's way beyond. Vito beat Undertale Genocide Route when he was three years old. He got the, he got the early tech demo straight from Toby Fox himself. After, you know, him and Sakurai played some Smash together. That was 12 years ago. Vito is only 13. No, he's 14. Yes, I know, but he's 13 at heart. He's actually 10. Yeah, I know. And that's why he wins. Yes, Peach Counter did in fact do that. The tables have turned. Now Vito is the one playing the more aggressive character, whereas the zoner is now Steven. Well, you know, actually no, it's, it's quite neck and neck at this point. Peach could get a simple kill with a uh, forward arrow counter at this point. But see, we've got Sans Undertale showing that he's actually a garbage character. Ooh. Peach managing to take the first stock, but not with much of a lead. It is still a dangerous position to be in, although this man at least doesn't have charge shot, which is nice. Looking for the read with the up smash. Gets it. Did that poke through his shield? That is absolutely ridiculous. Well, after that absolute bullshit shield poke, Vito's looking to bring things back to his side of the story. Listen, all right, I got a root for my NB boy, but at the same time, I also kind of got a root for Sans Undertale. This Sans Undertale is trying to hit him with a uh, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Vito does not seem to be dying at the speed the Sans Undertale would prefer. <laughs> Vito pressuring with safe forward airs, trying to get this man off stage and in a precarious scenario. Me Gunner managing to use projectiles to. I'm an old timey guy! <laughs> Precarious scenario! Who uses that in, like, commentating? I'm a very old timey. So like how he's kind of just slipping through the virus. It's very difficult. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> this is, uh, so... Uh... These things are actually quite neck and neck at this point. Vito has much percent. It's gonna be a little easier to kill him. But, of course, Vito's kill options are very, also very powerful. 
Oh, with the sh shield letting the charge shot bounce off. Vito managing to put Sands in another scary situation. Sands looking to get those to get those super missiles for the kill. Sands getting the back throw, which will take Peach's stock. This is a scary situation for Vito. He needs this game in order to reset the racket. It is 2-1. Vito with the edge guard, bringing things to a one-stock situation. This is scary for both players involved. A little more scary for Vito because he's got more on the line. But of course, Vito's peach combos, the muscles never forget. The brain grows weak, but the muscles remember. Unfortunately, this Sans Undertale's also got muscles in his hands. Who knew? All but the reads. The reads from both players are getting absolutely nasty. People are looking to end this as quickly as they possibly can because, you know, this game is pain to play. But uh, that, that's fine. Uh. <laughs> and Peach manages to perfectly space that forward aerial to take game three. Forward aerial. Yes, not quite a Mario forward aerial, but, you know. Hmm, so here we are, game five. Vito versus Steven. Looking to reset this bracket and put Steven into a scary life place. We now have the zoner duel. Vito is now able to counterpick the Sans Undertale and has the opportunity to pocket charge shot. Can we address that Vito might pocket charge shot? I think that's awesome. But anyway, uh. Can we just address the fact that Vito hasn't even been serious this whole time? He's only used 25% of his power. We're waiting, we're, what we're hoping for right here, folks, is a Vito moment number two to go with Vito no moment number one. Am I right? Moment number two, let's go. Vito moment number oh! One. The charge shot has oh, been pocketed, but he threw it away in the other direction. Vito getting his first stock taken, but not letting up on this me gunner applying incredible ledge pressure with the lloyd rocket looking to drop a pot on this man's head keeping him off stage me gunner looking to make his recovery easier by shooting a lot of projectiles but he read the regrab on ledge will be enough for Vito to hit that down smash the b reverse charge shot will deal some good percent to Vito. And this Sans Undertale also looking to get a gimp on Isabel. Not an easy task. Okay. Looking to get the easy gimp on Isabel that he missed because he's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Isabel taking the bomb. Because, you know, it's a useful thing to just slap on the floor. Uh, Isabel having the option to take and reuse any of Me Gunner's options making this a very scary matchup for Sans Undertale. But the fact that we have Sans Undertale in Grand Finals of North Battlefield is kind of messed up. Oh, of course the ceiling on Kalos is going to be way too high for that to kill, at least at this percent. Vito looking for an umbrella kill, as we all want in li our lives. But the up smash will be taking Vito's stock. Vito now having to make a mad comeback. This Sans Undertale is has a straight hardcore lead at this point. But Vito and able to take his first stock. We all know that Vito's explosive power comes out in times of great need. Joe! Joe! Vito dealing incredible amounts of damage with the with the pocket. Able to put this Sans Undertale on the ropes. N not allowing. Oh, but the bomb was double reflected there. Vito's taking a precarious amount of percents. This Sans Undertale looking to get whatever it'll take to finish off this grand finals. 
manages to hit Isabel off stage, but cannot edge guard enough to keep Isabel off. Isabel missing the umbrella kill, looking to get as much as he can do, and the back air will be the end. And that wow. is GG. Our winner is Steven, the Ike slash Sands Undertale player, and once again, North Battleford gets bodied by Saskatoon. Wow. We suck. <laughs> but we'll be back. We'll steal their souls. Oof. No, nah, it's okay. I was talking about Steven the whole time. The only real tragedy here is that Vito got slightly less money than he would have otherwise. All right. Bye, folks.